yesterday, and lots of people are, are making comments about the wickets, but it was two very different spells that brought about all the wickets. England declared their actions early yesterday by giving the first over to Steve Harmison, and in the second ball of the first over, he scored that result on Justin Langer, and then early on as well, he bowled a hostile delivery. This was grievous bodily Harmison, hostile delivery to Ricky Ponting. Just notice there, no real sympathy from the England fielders either to Ponting's demise, and that was his demise with the wicket there, an edge too quick from Harmison and bounce as well outside the off stump. And it's not a good idea to try and hook Harmison, bowling at this pace with the tall height that he does as well. So Simon Cadditch found that out. Five wickets for Harmison and on the honours board. And what he did was he really used this area of the pitch here, lots of short pitches, hostile deliveries, really roughing the Australians up and bowling very well. Now, how would Glenn McGrath respond? Well, there's a bit of previous with McGrath at Lords, eight foot in 1997 here and five foot in 2001. So he knows how to bowl here and he's a brilliant exponent of the slope at Lords. Now the slope goes like that and he's using that to just angle it across towards the offside and towards the slips of Marcus Truscothic. That was his first over and already posing problems and his 500th wicket came. Beautiful scene position there, a little bit of movement down the slope and taking the Truscothic's edge for his 500th test wicket. Fantastic bowling. Then he did the same to the right-handers, just bowling a little bit outside off stump, bringing the ball back down the slope through the gates of the England batsman. Brilliant bowling, just a little bit of movement, enough to cause the problems. Indecision, some balls going straight on from McGrath, some from the same line just nipping back down the slope. Indecision for the batsman, very difficult to play, perfect length, and his control was incredible. Just see here to the right-handers, some balls going like that and some balls nipping back down the slope from that perfect length. To the left-handers, angled across, again using the slope, but brilliant control, and he is a phenomenal wicket-taking machine based on long levers, a very still upright head there and an incredible wrist action.